In this video, we'll take a look at how to create this simple yet elegant cutout title in Final Cut Pro without the need to download or install any plugins. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, Justin Adisho made a video on how to do a very similar effect in Premiere Pro, and today we'll learn how to do this in Final Cut Pro. I'll leave Justin's video linked in the description just in case you want to check it out. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is add a background to our title. Open the Titles and Generators browser, and from the Generators drop down menu, select the Solids category. Grab the custom generator and drag and drop it down into your timeline above your clip. Ripple trim it to the length you want. Make sure the generator clip is selected and head up to the inspector window. Select the generators inspector and change your background color to whatever you want it to be. For our example, let's select white. Next, go back to the titles and generators browser and add a title above your generator clip. To keep things simple, let's just use the basic title. Ripple trim your title clip to the same length as your generator clip. By default, when you add a basic title in Final Cut Pro, the text color is set to white. Since our generator clip is also white, you won't be able to see your text in the viewer, so first thing we need to do is change the text color. With your title clip selected, in the inspector, select the text inspector. Scroll down to the face adjustment and click on the show button in the top right corner. Change the color of your text to black, enter your text, and adjust the appearance of your title. Press Shift Command A on your keyboard to deselect your title clip, and click and drag the text in your viewer window until it's centered in your frame. Use the yellow guidelines to line it up perfectly in the middle. Select the generator clip in your timeline, and from the drop down menu under the viewer, select Crop, and make sure Trim is selected. Drag down on the top middle handle to trim your generator clip. To make the shape symmetrical, we need to trim the bottom of the clip by exactly the same amount. An easy way of doing this is by using the controls in the inspector. Select the video inspector, and change the value of the bottom crop slider to exactly the same amount as your top. Do the same to the right and left crop sliders. Once finished, click Done in the top right corner of the viewer. Now, to make a cutout in our generator and have our video clip show through the letters, we'll use an image mask. Open the Effects browser, select the Masks category, and drag and drop the image mask over your generator clip. In the Inspector, select the Drop Zone for your image mask, place your skimmer over any part of your title clip, and click on it to select it. In the bottom right of the viewer window, click Apply Clip. Back in the Inspector, Select the Invert Mask checkbox and disable your top clip in the timeline by selecting it and pressing V on your keyboard. The reason we use the Custom Generator instead of just using the Shapes Generator is that it allows you to easily resize and reposition your title using the Transform tool. If you try this with a Shapes Generator, since the only way to change the shape size is using the Transform tool, when you apply an image mask, the letters don't line up and you get some wonky results. Using the Custom Generator combined with the Crop tool easily fixes this and lets you resize and reposition your title anywhere you want in the frame. If you enjoyed this video or have any questions, I want to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week.